Hi, I'm Ola Lohmann. I'm an adventure photographer. Normally, I like to take a very close look at hot, boiling lava. But today, I'm going to have a close look together with you at our garden. I want to look into macro photography, which is photographing tiny little details to make them look bigger than in real life. This is our garden, planted by our grandmother. Especially in moments like this, I can truly appreciate that beauty is within every little detail of nature, no matter if on the other side of the planet or just on our doorsteps. It's up to us to see and to photograph it. This is some of my equipment. Don't get scared, you don't need all of that. Sometimes just a zoom lens is enough, more about that later. My favorite macro lens is the 100mm 2.8. It also takes wonderful portraits. Then I have the MPE 65, which is a lens you have to focus it manually, but this lens magnifies up to five times. You need a lot of light to work with it, so there is a dedicated flash, it's called a ring flash, and then you can make sure that you have the light right where you need it. It's a perfect lens for anybody who is already a bit advanced into macro photography and wants to go to the next level. Zoom lens. Why not just try out with a normal zoom lens? This is the 100 to 400 mm zoom lens. It takes photographs like this. You can use any camera. In fact, the M series has a really nice macro lens with an already inbuilt light. This leads to our next point, the light. Macro photography teaches you a lot about photography in general because you really have to understand the light. I love playing with it. Often I just take a torch and light my subject from all different sides just to see what the light does. Why not use it as a backlight? Just try it out. Sometimes it doesn't work well if an image is too much in the sun, so then I make a bit of shade or I play with the harsh shadows and contrast in the bright sun. The creativity is all yours. But you have to know in advance how you want your image to look like. I usually have my camera set on manual, so I have full control over everything. Also, my focus is set on manual focus, and with the help of focus peaking, I find exactly the spot where I want the focus to be. Just play around and see for yourself. As always in photography, there's no rule. Just try out what's best for your equipment in your circumstances. Last, I want to encourage you to be even more creative. Ever heard of bouquet? This Japanese word describes those nice blurry parts in an image. Simply switch to manual focus and turn until it's completely out of focus using an open aperture. Then look for small light sources. For example, for the sun shining through some leaves, or for water droplets, or check those city lights in a far distance. You will be surprised where you can find bouquet. Now I took out the Christmas tree decoration again, and I made some heart-shaped filters. And now we're going to have our Christmas tree looking like little hearts. I put it in front of my lens, and then I screw on the filter. So it keeps it in place and I have a wonderful model. It's not the most beautiful on the planet, but at least the duck is not moving. Now I switch the camera onto manual focus and turn it until it's completely out of focus. I use an open aperture and the more I turn, the bigger my hearts will become. Now it's your time to get creative. Please, I want to see your photographs. Post them, for example, on Instagram using the hashtag CanonConnected. If you want, you can also tag me at Ulla Lohmann. Enjoy your photographs and the moments they capture. Thank you. Mm -hmm.